2. You have learned in chapter 1 that plants can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis but animals cannot. Animals get their food from plants, either directly by eating plants or indirectly by eating animals that eat plants. Some animals eat both plants and animals. Recall that all organisms including humans require food for growth, repair and functioning of the body. Animal nutrition includes nutrient requirement, mode of intake of food and its utilization in the body. You have studied in class 6 that food consists of many components. Try to recall and list them below. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The components of food such as carbohydrates are complex substances. These complex substances cannot be utilized as such. So they are broken down into simpler substances. The breakdown of complex components of complex substance simpler substances. Food into simpler substances is called digestion. 2.1 Different ways of taking food The mode of taking food into the body varies in different organisms. Bees and hummingbirds suck the nectar of plants. Infants of human and many other animals feed on mother's milk. Snakes like the python swallow the animals they prey upon. Some aquatic animals filter tiny food particles floating nearby and feed upon them. Activity 2.1 what is the type of food and mode of feeding of the following animals? Write down your observations in the given table. You may find the list of modes of feeding given below the table helpful. Table 2.1 Various modes of feeding Nutrition in animals Name of animal Kind of food Mode of feeding Snail Ant Eagle Hummingbird Lice Mosquito Butterfly Housefly Scraping, chewing, siphoning, capturing and swallowing, sponging, sucking etc. 2022-2023 Amazing fact! Starfish feeds on animals covered by hard shells of calcium carbonate. After opening the shell, the starfish pops out its stomach through its mouth to eat the soft animal inside the shell. The stomach then goes back into the body and the food is slowly digested. Figure 2.1 Starfish of the stomach and the small intestine, and the various glands associated with the canal such as salivary glands, the liver and the pancreas secrete digestive juices. The digestive juices convert complex. Buccal cavity salivary gland. Oesophagus. Liver. Gallbladder. Stomach. Pancreas. Small intestine. Large intestine. Rectum anus. 2.2 Digestion in humans. We take in food through the mouth, digest and utilize it. The unused parts of the food are defecated. Have you ever wondered what happens to the food inside the body? The food passes through a continuous canal figure 2.2 which begins at the buccal cavity and ends at the anus. The canal can be divided into various compartments. 1. The buccal cavity. 2. Food pipe or oesophagus. 3. Stomach. 4. Small intestine. 5. Large intestine ending in the rectum and 6. The anus. Is it not a very long path? These parts together form the alimentary canal digestive tract. The food components gradually get digested as food travels through the various compartments. The inner walls. Figure 2.2 Human Digestive System Substances of food into simpler ones. The digestive tract and the associated glands together constitute the digestive system. Now, let us know what happens to the food in different parts of the digestive tract. The mouth and buccal cavity. Food is taken into the body through the mouth. The process of taking food into. 12. Science. 2022-2023 Milk teeth and permanent teeth Do you remember about falling off your teeth some years ago? The first set of teeth grows during infancy and they fall off at the age between 6 to 8 years. These are termed milk teeth. The second set that replaces them are the permanent teeth. The permanent teeth may last throughout life or fall off during old age or due to some dental disease. Figure 2.3 Molar Premolar Canine Incisor Arrangement of teeth and different type of teeth. Bujo is fascinated by the highly coiled small intestine seen in figure 2.2. He wants to know its length. Would you like to make a wild guess? We have given its approximate length on page 16. Just imagine how such a long structure is accommodated in a small space within our body. The body is called ingestion. We chew the food with the teeth and break it down mechanically into small pieces. Each tooth is rooted in a separate socket in the gums. Figure 2.3 Our teeth vary in appearance and perform different functions. Accordingly they are given different names. Figure 2.3 Activity 2.2 
Wash your hands. Look into the mirror and count your teeth. Use your index finger to feel the teeth. How many kinds of teeth could you find? Take a piece of an apple or bread and eat it. Which teeth do you use for biting and cutting? And which ones for piercing and tearing? Also find out the ones that are used for chewing and grinding. Record your observations in Table 2.2. Table 2.2. Type of teeth. Number of teeth. Total. Lower jaw. Upper jaw. Cutting and biting teeth. Piercing and tearing teeth. Chewing and grinding teeth. Nutrition in animals. 2022 to 2023. 13. Our mouth has the salivary glands which secrete saliva. Do you know the action of saliva on food? Let us find out. Activity 2.3. Take two test tubes. Label them A and B. In test tube A put one teaspoonful. Iodine solution. Water boiled rice. Boiled and chewed rice add. Figure 2.4 effect of saliva on starch. Of boiled rice. In test tube B keep 1 teaspoonful of boiled rice after chewing it for 3 to 5 minutes. Add 3 to 4 ml of water in both the test tubes. Figure 2.4. Now pour 2 to 3 drops of iodine solution in each test tube and observe. Why is there a change in color in the test tubes? Discuss the results with your classmates and your teacher. The saliva breaks down the starch into sugars. The tongue is a fleshy muscular organ attached at the back to the floor of the buccal cavity. It is free at the front and can be moved in all directions. Do you know the functions of the tongue? We use our tongue for talking. Besides, it mixes saliva with the food during chewing and helps in swallowing food. We also taste food with our tongue. It has taste buds that detect different tastes of food. We can find out the sweets and tooth decay. Normally bacteria are present in our mouth but they are not harmful to us. However, if we do not clean our teeth and mouth after eating, a many harmful bacteria also begin to live and grow in it. These bacteria break down the sugars present from the leftover food and release acids. See chapter 5 to know what an acid is. The acids gradually damage the teeth figure 2.5. This is called tooth decay. If it is not be treated in time, it causes severe toothache and in extreme cases results in tooth loss. Chocolates, sweets, soft drinks and other sugar products are the major culprits of tooth decay. Therefore, one should clean the teeth with a brush or datton and dental floss, a special strong thread which is moved between two teeth to take out trapped food particles at least twice a day and rinse the mouth after every meal. Also, one should not put dirty fingers or any unwashed object in the mouth d. Figure 2.5 Gradual Decay of Tooth C. 14. Science. 2022-2023. Sometimes when you eat in a hurry, talk or laugh while eating, you may cough, get hiccups or a choking sensation. This happens when food particles enter the windpipe. The windpipe carries air from the nostrils to the lungs. It runs adjacent to the food pipe, but inside the throat, air and food share a common passage. Then how is food prevented from entering the windpipe? During the act of swallowing a flap like valve closes the passage of the windpipe and guides the food into the food pipe. If, by chance, food particles enter the windpipe, we feel choked, get hiccups or cough. Figure 2.6 Regions of the Tongue for Different Tastes Position of Taste Buds by the following activity Activity 2.4 1. Prepare a separate sample each of eye sugar solution, 2 common salt solution, 3 lemon juice and eye juice of crushed neem leaf or bitter gourd 2. Blindfold Oni Afi Otlas Mattis and ask her him to take out the tongue and keep it in straight and flat position 3. Use a clean toothpick to put the above samples one by one on different areas of the tongue as shown in figure 2.6. Use a new toothpick for each sample. 4. Ask the class which every soft tongue could detect the sweet, salty, sour and bitter substances. 5. Now write down your observations and label figure 2.6. Repeat this activity with other classmates. The food pipe oesophagus. The swallowed food passes into the food pipe or oesophagus. Look at figure 2.2. The food pipe runs along the neck. Paheli wants to know how food moves in the opposite direction during vomiting. Food. Oesophagus. Stomach. Figure 2.7 Movement of the food in the oesophagus. Of the alimentary canal. Nutrition in animals. 2022 to 2023. 15. And the chaste. Food is pushed down by movement of the wall of the food pie. Actually this movement takes place throughout the alimentary canal and pushes the food downwards. Figure 2.7. At times the food is not accepted by our stomach and is vomited out. Recall the instances when you vomited after eating and think of the reason for it. Discuss with your parents and teacher. The stomach. 
The stomach is a thick walled bag. Its shape is like a flattened J and it is the widest part of the alimentary canal. It receives food from the food pipe at one end and opens into the small intestine at the other. The inner lining of the stomach secretes mucus, hydrochloric acid and digestive juices. The mucus protects the lining of the stomach. The acid kills many bacteria that enter along with the food and makes the medium in the stomach acidic and helps the digestive juices to act. The digestive juices break down the proteins into simpler substances. The small intestine. The small intestine is highly coiled and is about 7.5 meters long. It receives secretions from the liver and the pancreas. Besides, its wall also secretes juices. The liver is a reddish brown gland situated in the upper part of the abdomen on the right side. It is the largest gland in the body. It secretes bile juice that is stored in a sac called the gallbladder. Figure 2.2. The bile plays an important role in the digestion of fats. The pancreas is a large cream-colored gland located just below the stomach. Figure 2.2. The pancreatic juice acts on carbohydrates, fats and proteins and changes them into simpler forms. The working of the stomach was discovered by a strange accident. In 1822, a man named Alexis Street Martin was badly hit by a shotgun. The bullet had seriously damaged the chest wall and made a hole in his stomach. He was brought to an American army doctor William Beaumont. The doctor saved the patient but he could not close the hole properly and left it bandaged. Figure 2.8 Beaumont took it as a great opportunity to see the inside of the stomach through the hole. He made some wonderful observations. Beaumont found that the stomach was churning food, its wall secreted a fluid which could digest the food. He also observed that the end of the stomach opens into the intestine only after the digestion of the food inside the stomach is completed. Figure 2.8 Alexis Street Martin's Shotgun Wound 16. Science 2022-2023 The partly digested food now reaches the lower part of the small intestine where the intestinal juice completes the digestion of all components of the food. The carbohydrates get broken into simple sugars such as glucose, fats into fatty acids and glycerol, and proteins into amino acids. Absorption in the small intestine the digested food can now pass into the blood vessels in the wall of the intestine. This process is called absorption. The inner walls of the small intestine have thousands of finger-like outgrowths. These are called villi, singular villus. Can you guess what the role of villi could be in the intestine? The villi increase the surface area for absorption of the digested food. Each villus has a network of thin and small blood vessels close to its surface. The surface of the villi absorbs the digested food materials. The absorbed substances are transported via the blood vessels to different organs of the body where they are used to build complex substances such as the proteins required by the body. This is called assimilation. In the cells, glucose breaks down with the help of oxygen into carbon dioxide and water, and energy is released. The food that remains undigested and unabsorbed enters into the large intestine. Large intestine. The large intestine is wider and shorter than small intestine. It is about 1.5 meter in length. Its function is to absorb water and some salts from the undigested food material. The remaining waste passes into the rectum and remains there as semi-solid feces. The fecal matter is removed through the anus from time to time. This is called digestion. 2.3 Digestion in Grass-Eating Animals have you observed cows, buffaloes and other grass-eating animals chewing continuously even when they are not eating? Actually, they quickly swallow the grass and store it in a part of the stomach called rumen. Figure 2.9. Here the food gets diarrhea. Sometime you may have experienced the need to pass watery stool frequently. This condition is known as diarrhea. It may be caused by an infection, food poisoning or indigestion. It is very common in India, particularly among children. Under severe conditions it can be fatal. This is because of the excessive loss of water and salts from the body. Diarrhea should not be neglected. Even before a doctor is consulted the patient should be given plenty of boiled and cooled water with a pinch of salt and sugar dissolved in it. This is called oral rehydration solution, ORS. Nutrition in Animals 2022-2023 17. Paheli wants to know why these animals cannot chew food properly at the time they take it in. Bujho wants to know why we cannot digest cellulose like the cattle do. Partially digested and is called cud, but later the cud returns to the mouth in small lumps and the animal chews it. This process is called rumination and these animals are called ruminants. The grass is rich in cellulose, a type of carbohydrate, in ruminants like cattle, deer, etc. Bacteria present in rumen helps in digestion of cellulose. Many animals, including humans, cannot digest cellulose. 
Animals like horses, rabbit, etc., have a large sac like structure called cecum between the esophagus and the small intestine. Figure 2.9. The cellulose of the food is digested here by the action of certain bacteria which are not present in humans. So far you have learned about animals which possess the digestive system, but there are many small organisms which do not have a mouth and a digestive system. Then, how do they acquire and digest food? In the section below you will learn another interesting way of food intake. 2.4 Feeding and Digestion in Amoeba Amoeba is a microscopic single-celled organism found in pond water. Amoeba has a cell membrane, a rounded, dense nucleus and many small bubble-like vacuoles. Figure 2.10 in its cytoplasm. Amoeba constantly changes its shape and position. It pushes out one or more finger-like projections, called pseudopodia or false feet for movement and capture of food. Oesophagus Small intestine rumen Nucleus pseudopodium 18. Science Figure 2.9 Digestive System of Ruminant Figure 2.10 Amoeba Food Particle Ingestion Food Vacuole Stomach Cecum Large Intestine Adjusted Waste 2022-2023 Amoeba feeds on some microscopic organisms. When it senses food, it pushes out pseudopodia around the food particle and engulfs it. The food becomes trapped in a food vacuole. Figure 2.10 Digestive juices are secreted into the food vacuole. They act on the food and break it down into simpler substances. Gradually the digested food is absorbed. Keywords The absorbed substances are used for growth, maintenance and multiplication. The undigested residue of the food is expelled outside by the vacuole. The basic process of digestion of food and release of energy is the same in all animals. In a later chapter you will learn about the transport of food absorbed by the intestine to the various parts of the body. Absorption Fatty Acid Oesophagus Amino Acid Food Vacuole Pancreas Amoeba Gallbladder Premolar Assimilation Glycerol Pseudopodia Bile Incisor Rumen Buccal Cavity Ingestion Ruminant Canine Liver Rumination Cellulose Milk teeth, salivary glands, digestion, molar, villi, digestion, permanent teeth, saliva. What you have learned. An animal nutrition includes nutrient requirement, mode of intake of food and its utilization in the body. And the human digestive system consists of the alimentary canal and secretory glands. It consists of the eye buccal cavity, two esophagus, three stomach, eye small intestine, V large intestine ending in rectum and V anus. The main digestive glands which secrete digestive juices are either salivary glands, two the liver and three the pancreas. The stomach wall and the wall of the small intestine also secrete digestive juices. And the modes of feeding vary in different organisms. And nutrition is a complex process involving eye ingestion, two digestion, three absorption, IV, assimilation, and V digestion. Nutrition in animals. 2022 to 2023. 19. N. 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 Digestion of carbohydrates, like starch, begins in the buccal cavity. The digestion of protein starts in the stomach. The bile secreted from the liver, the pancreatic juice from the pancreas and the digestive juice from the intestinal wall complete the digestion of all components of food in the small intestine. The digested food is absorbed in the blood vessels from the small intestine. The absorbed substances are transported to different parts of the body. Water and some salts are absorbed from the undigested food in the large intestine. The undigested and unabsorbed residues are expelled out of the body as feces through the anus. The grazing animals like cows, buffaloes and deer are known as ruminants. They quickly ingest, swallow their leafy food and store it in the rumen. Later, the food returns to the mouth and the animal chews it peacefully. Amoeba ingests its food with the help of its false feet or pseudopodia. The food is digested in the food vacuole. Exercises 1. Fill in the blanks uh, the main steps of nutrition in humans are comer and dart. B. The largest gland in the human body is dart. C. The stomach releases hydrochloric acid and juices which act on food. D. The inner wall of the small intestine has many finger-like outgrowths called dart. E. Amoeba digests its food in the... 2. Mark T if the statement is true and F if it is false. A. Uh, digestion of starch starts in the stomach. T. F. B. The tongue helps in mixing food with saliva. T. F. 
See the gold bladder temporarily stores bile, tf. D the ruminants bring back swallowed grass into their mouth and chew it for some time, tf. 3. Tick. You mark the correct answer in each of the following. A fat is completely digested in the I stomach to mouth 3 small intestine, I large intestine. 20. Science. 2022-2023. B water from the undigested food is absorbed mainly in the I stomach to food pipe 3 small intestine, I large intestine. 4. Match thetums of calumny with osagevan in calumny I. Column I. Food components carbohydrates proteins. Fats. Column 2. Product. S of digestion fatty acids and glycerol sugar. Amino acids. 5. What are villi? What is their location and function? 6. Where is thabile produced which component of the does it help to digest? 7. Name the type of carbohydrate that can be digested by ruminants but not by humans. Give the reason also. 8. Why do jet instant energy from glucose? 9. Which part of the digestive canal is involved in? I. Absorption of food dart. 2. Chewing of food dart. 3. Killing of bacteria. I. Complete digestion of food dart. V. Formation of feces. 10. Retain a similarity and a difference between the nutrition in amoebar and human beings. 11. Match thetums of calumny with suitably thems in calumny I. Column I. Column 2. A. Salivary gland I. B. Stomach 2. C. Liver 3. D. Rectum. I. E. Small intestine V. Digestion is completed. F. Large intestine. V. Absorption of water. Bile juice secretion. Storage of undigested food. Saliva secretion. Acid release. 7. Release of feces. Nutrition in animals. 2022 to 2023 21 12 label fig 2.11 of the digestive system figure 2.11 apart of human digestive system 13 can we survive only on raw leafy vegetables grass discuss extended learning activities and project 1 visit a doctor and find out i under what conditions does a patient need to be on a drip of glucose 2 till when does a patient need to be given glucose 3. How does glucose help the patient recover? Write the answers in your notebook. 2. Find out what vitamins are in jet the following information. I. Why are vitamins necessary in the diet? 2. Which fruits or vegetables should be eaten regularly to get vitamins? Write a one-page note on the information collected by you. You may take help of a doctor, a dietitian, your teacher or any other person, or from any other source. 22. Science. 2022 to 2023 3. Collect data from your friends, neighbors and classmates to know more about milk teeth. Tabulate your data. One way of doing it is given below. Duction no. Age at which first tooth fell. Age at which last tooth fell. No of teeth lost. No of teeth replaced. 1. 2. 3. 4. 5. Find out from at least 20 children and find the average age at which children lose the milk teeth. You may take help of your friends. Did you know? Fats in goat's milk are much simpler than those in cow's milk. Therefore, the goat's milk is much easier to digest than the cow's milk. Nutrition in animals. 